In case you couldn't get enough North Korea news, well, here's some more for you. Uh, now, North Korea deliberately detonated a missile during its failed weekend test because the rocket was heading for Russia, it has been claimed. Pyongyang test-fired a ballistic missile on Saturday despite warnings from the U.S. that failure to curb its nuclear and rocket trials could lead to catastrophic consequences. Now, this particular missile traveled 30 miles before crashing down on an inland part of North Korea. Now, it has been since claimed that Kim Jong-un spooked officials deliberately exploded the KN-17 device shortly after launch, fearing it had been fired toward Russia by accident. Hmm, now that would have been something, huh? That certainly would have changed the complexion of things a great deal over there if it had actually landed in Russia. Now, according to South Korea's SE Daily, the ballistic missile would have struck a harbor point or a Russian territory if it hadn't failed. It is for that reason that North Korea intentionally destroyed the missile, this SE Daily website reportedly said. Now, a source is quoted as saying the launch target was different from the previous direction and that in the past, we, being North Korea, fired 89 to 90 degrees to the east and the projectile fell off the East Sea, but the angle of this shot was 49 degrees. I wonder if somebody sneezed and disrupted the angle before launch. I don't know. Now, in the wake of the launch, Russia's chairman of defense and security, Viktor Azerov, reportedly said its air defenses in its eastern territories have been put on high alert, which you probably already know. Mr. Azerov went on to say the air defense of the Russian Federation in the Far East has been put on high alert. We control the airspace in the zone of responsibility of the Russian Air Forces. Now just imagine if this missile had actually landed in Russia. That would completely change the complexion of things here with this North Korean situation. How would Russia have responded? Would they have retaliated? Or would they have said, be careful next time and don't fire any more in this direction or else? Or else what? <laughs> Anyway, I'll leave you a link to this, folks. This is certainly an interesting development in the ongoing North Korea saga. But no matter what, don't be given over to the spirit of fear, but of the power of love and of a sound mind, which comes through our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you feel so led, I'd greatly appreciate it if you check out the links to my fiction books and my music. This is Jim signing off, trying to clear these allergies out of my head. God bless you folks, and I will see you soon.